Hey everybody, John Abdo here, author of Wolves of Croton, The Untold Story of Milo. You know, there's many, many great characters in this book, not just Milo. Good, bad, evil, whatever, there's some really great characters. And I want to talk about in this segment, which I've talked about in previous segments, and I could talk about this guy all day long, is Timothatheus. And Timothatheus' name is still extant today. The historians have kept his name extant. Timothatheus was Milo's opponent at Milo's last Olympiad Games, the 67th Olympiad Games. Timothatheus was a young boy in 524 BC. Boys were permitted to enter the palaestra at age seven. That's when the coaches and the parents and the organizing committee felt that they were mature enough to start sports training. Sports training was really a disguise for military training to get the athletes in shape to where they can carry armor and endure the burdens of, of warfare, battle and warfare. Timothatheus, he's a little guy. He's not strong. He's not brawny, but he's got a lot of endurance and he's got guts. He's a terrorizer. I mean, he just antagonizes everybody. He's a crazy guy. When he walks into the place where teammates literally go, oh man, he's here again. We are not going to have an easy day. This is going to be a tough workout. We're going to walk out of this place injured or fatigued, more so than, than any other training practice. And Timothatheus, over the course of 12 years, made his teammates great. I mean, really great. And the reason is, Milo lifting the bull, consistent, progressive, incremental increases in resistance, i.e. lifting a calf to the bull, Timothatheus just irritated and antagonized everybody and made them really tough. And wrestling was slash is a sport where you have to tolerate, endure, and dominate burdens and irritations and discomfort and obstacles and pain. And Timothatheus was the epitome of all that. But to compensate for his lack of brawniness and physicalness, so to say, Timothatheus masters a technique called acrotriaresmos. And acrotriaresmos is a technique that actually just wards away from an opponent's attack. And according to some of the writings in the book, it was developed by watching animal behavior, specifically the mongoose, how the mongoose fights the cobra. The mongoose beats the cobra, and the cobra just gets more and more tired after striking out and striking out and striking out at this tiny, feisty, high-attrition creature that's not big, that's not brawny, but he doesn't give up. So as the cobra attacks, the mongoose dodges and weaves and bends and just darts its body away from the poisonous fangs. But that's what Timothatheus uses against Milo when he wrestles Milo. I won't get into all the details about Timothatheus here. It's in the book, obviously. But he ultimately wrestles Milo in the 67th Olympiad Games, which is Milo's seventh Olympiad Games. And by that time, Milo is six-time Olympiad champion before that, World Youth Games champion. So he won seven consecutive titles, along with numerous other Panhellenic competitions in between the Ishmean Games, the Pythian Games, the uh, Nemean Games. By using the technique known as Acrotriaresmos, Timothatheus evaded Milo's crushing embrace and was not beaten. Pausanias and Timothatheus didn't beat Milo, but they tied. It was a victory for both opponents. Some historians say Milo lost that competition. I guess they call it draw a loss, or maybe they say he lost, but others say that he tied Timothatheus and it was declared a draw. In my opinion, at least in modern day sports, if it's a draw, both are winners. So that's how Timothatheus ended up being an Olympiad wrestling champion. And he went on to pursue an illustrious career as an athlete wrestler. Timothatheus, as I write it in the book, was born underprivileged. He was a non-citizen. Cretonians took him under their wings, especially Milo. No one wanted this kid around. 
He was just uh, born from unwed parents, which was sacrilegious back in the days of the Greeks. Prior to that, maybe a hundred years or so prior to that, childbearing outside of wedlock was acceptable because they needed to increase their populations. But Milo didn't care. Milo accepted everybody. So Timotheus became a teammate of Milo's. He watched Milo train and compete and perform his outstanding feats of strength for over 12 years. Timotheus was 19 when he wrestled Milo at the 67th Olympiad Games. He entered the palestra when he was seven. So 12 years later, he gets the opportunity to wrestle on the world stage in the most prestigious event in the world, the Olympiad Games. So Timotheus is a very interesting character. A true character, according to Pausanias and other historians, a true story about Timotheus being an athlete, specifically a wrestler on the Cretonian wrestling team, and being a teammate of Milo, and eventually having to face his mentor and master and multiple-time world Olympiad wrestling champion, Milo of Croton, in the pit. And you have to read the book to find out how it ends. I'm John Abdo. Thanks for listening. I'll catch up with you guys soon. Thank you. If you are enjoying this content, please like, follow, share, and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring you more fascinating information on Milo of Croton and other great mythological and mortal figures from antiquity. I'm John Abdo, thanking you for watching. Stay strong and healthy. And perhaps one day, thousands of years from now, people then will be remembering your name as well.